Thank you. Today, I want to discuss with you something I have used and it has been beneficial to me. And I think I shouldn't be selfish. I should also share with you. Knowledge has an intrinsic value. If you've listened to some of my videos, I mentioned the difference between an intrinsic value and an instrumental value. And I also call the, they are also called the primary reinforcer and the secondary reinforcer. And I said, something with an intrinsic value has a value in and out of itself, while something with an instrumental value is a means to an end. One of those things that have an intrinsic value is actually knowledge. When you have knowledge, you are liberated. And as human beings, as those who want to conquer the world, as those who want to make the world a better place, our appetite for knowledge should be insatiable, should be something we can quench. Our thirst for knowledge should be something that, do, that does not go into zero or does not go into red. So in the previous life, generations before us, they were only stuck with having access to knowledge in libraries. However, with the advent of the internet, and like I usually posit, internet is the greatest invention of man after language and power, electricity. So when internet came, it changed a lot of things. We have more than 6 billion people currently now on the internet. And in Nigeria, millions, tens of millions of people are also on the internet. So what are the advantages that comes with internet when it comes to knowledge? Number one, it's from the development of, the, of, of, of videos, of pictures. At the time, we had just mere pictures. Then later on, we had videos. Later on, it developed into live stream. Now we are at the point of virtual reality. Your best library, one of your best libraries that you can consult, if you are somebody that learns through the visual sense, is actually YouTube. There are little topics that are not on YouTube. A host of topics are on YouTube, where you can just go on YouTube, type your topic, and somebody teaches you that. So there are a lot of things to tap from YouTube if you are somebody that learns by seeing, if you are somebody that likes watching videos. Even a lot of histories in the world, they've been documented in, in episodic series that you can also have access to the knowledge, uh, to, to, to knowledge about the history in America, the World War, the history of the talks, the history of the Americans, the history of, uh, of the British, a host of histories that you can also learn. But this is not where I'm going today. I just had to just put that. What I'm about to discuss with you today is that one of your best bets is to go online and learn. A lot of us, we give the flimsy excuse that because we do not have money, we cannot acquire knowledge on a certain subject matter. That, is, that excuse was valid before, but currently it is no longer valid. As long as you have a smartphone, as long as you have an access to a laptop, you cannot claim that you want to further your education in a certain aspect and you can't further, except if what you are looking at is basically certificates. Let me give an example. There is an online platform called the Alison. Alison is spelled A-L-I-S-O-N. On Alison, Alison houses tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of courses that you can take. And they also have diplomas that you can also take on Alison. And one fantastic thing about Alison is you only pay for certificates on Alison. You don't pay for the course. You have free entry for any course you want to go to. Even diplomas, you can take your diplomas on Alison. The only time you are going to pay is when you have money and you pay. Like now, I have some diplomas on Alison I haven't even paid for. And I have some I've paid for, but I'm done with it. I've written my exam. I've passed my, I, I, I have passed my exam. So the next time you want to give that excuse that uh, as long as you appear on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat, you also have the data to be able to take these courses. And the fantastic thing about most of these courses online is that they have videos you need to watch, but that, the videos might consume your data. However, they also have transcripts of those videos that you can just read and you can jot them and you write your exams and pass. Another platform also that is very popular is Udemy. Udemy has hundreds of thousands, if not millions of courses. And you can take them on public speaking, on negotiation skills, on IT, on coding. You can take them on a wide range of things. Even on camera handling, you can take them. On the use of smartphone for some specific reasons, you can take them. And you can keep on acquiring this knowledge. Another one, very fantastic one, is FutureLearn. On FutureLearn, FutureLearn without any space. 
On Future Learn, you can acquire knowledge on almost any, any subject matter. And one fantastic thing about Future Learn is that any certificate that is issued on Future Learn is affiliated to a university abroad. So you have, you can have Institute of Coding, they, they, there's a course, you take that course, it is certified by Future Learn and also certified by the Institute of Coding. You can take a, score, a course that is also certified by Monash University in Australia. You can take a course that is even certified by Harvard University. So the access to knowledge now is on your palm. All you need is for you to be intentional. All you need is for you to be serious that I want to acquire this knowledge and I acquire this knowledge. During the coronavirus uh, pandemic, I have a friend who also equals as a family member that acquired more than 30 certifications during the coronavirus. He had nothing else he was doing at home. He's somebody that does not watch TV as such. So he, all he did was to buy data and spend time on his laptop taking courses. So now you can, what I would advise you do is if you have a salary that you, that, that, that you, if you have a monthly salary, dedicate a percentage of that your salary into the acquisition of knowledge. For my salary, I'm going to take courses like on Coursera. Coursera is a very thorough site where you can also take courses affiliated with many universities across the world, many institutes across the world, many institutions across the world, Coursera. And we have a host of them. You can even have access to Harvard, Harvard University. We also have the International Online University owned by Dr. Bilal Phillips. If you say what I want to do is Islamic scholarship, Islamic scholarship on uh, international online universities that you can get diploma, you can even get diplomas on specific books on, on IOU, International Online University, owned by Dr. Bilal Phillips. It, and all you need to do for you to have access to all their diplomas throughout a year is for you to pay $12. And $12, $1 per month. So for a whole year, you have access to taking courses. And these courses, you can take courses on faith, on Akida, you can take courses on a wide range of topics. Once you put your time, you write your exam, you pass, you get IOU certificate. Why? Because it is one of the best and easiest way for you to get your, uh, for you to get certified and also acquire knowledge. So I tell you today that your excuse that you do not have money is no longer sufficient. How much is twelve dollars? Twelve dollars is less than ten thousand naira. So even if you need to spend two months from your salary, you pick. 5,000 this month, the next month, another 5,000. Put it together, subscribe on IOU. IOU also has fantastic courses, even on psychology. They have fantastic courses in humanity. They have fantastic courses also in social science. And this is a university. Any certification you get from it, you got it from a university outside Nigeria. So this is something, and also another platform you can also go to is Federal Ministry of Communication and Digital Economy. They, are they, they have a wide range of courses that are free for Nigerians on digital economy that you can also tap from and you learn from and you can also be certified from. So the next time you are thinking, uh, the reason why I do not have any certificate is because I do not have money. Know that you are actually deceiving yourself. You can acquire as many certificates as possible and the only thing stopping you is just for you to take that decision that I'm about to start. Thank you till I see you in my next episode where I discuss another very interesting topic. Thank you. How many minutes? Ramadan Mubarak.